manage our assets. Uh, certainly we will make the drive cost savings out of our alternatives and deliver on all the government's objectives. Thank you. Can I ask you a question before the program is? Has the government made any statement with any feedback on the solution so far? Very limited feedback. We had a conference call with DCLG on the 31st of August. DCLG asked us a few questions on that call, which we felt we could respond to fairly easily. They couldn't give any direct indications of whether our submission was acceptable to them or not. They indicated that there was going to be a panel convened on the 8th of September, Cabinet, Treasury and DCLG, at which all eight submissions would be considered, and then there would be feedback. And we're still waiting for that feedback. I think our expectation is that because no objections are being raised, we expect to receive just waiting for a letter from the Minister to confirm that. Do you not think that there's likely to be some further thought on the application of all this stuff, mindful of the fact that you've got virtually a new government, I should say this now, and with new ministers? Any, any rumours going around Peter? Well, there have been rumours. DCLG have been keen to emphasise that although it's not as far up you know, Mr Hammond's agenda as it was Mr Osborne's, it's nonetheless a government priority and a government objective that they will deliver on. I think probably more importantly, since this report was issued, the investment legs have been issued, which come into force shortly, and they, they negatively, um, but they don't require pooling, but they say that if you don't pool, then it gives the Secretary of State an opportunity to intervene. So, sort of indirectly, the investment regulations require funds to pool. And therefore, it's almost seen as the green light. They come into force on the 1st of November. Uh, so, but nonetheless, despite the investment regulations, we'd also like something from the Minister confirming he's happy with our proposals, because we realise not having an ACS has been slightly sensible not to spend money on something that doesn't add value to what the program is doing.
keep those until the exempt agenda, but we're going to introduce the, the, the paper that's important to do. This report was taken to pensions committee requesting um, the pension committee to write off um, a sum of a sum of non recovering pension payments. And, and the amount was